today we will learn how to apply such split screen matte presets to our video to make it look more cinematic and to give it a unique look. So we are inside of DaVinci Resolve once again and as you can see here I already imported three split screen matte presets from our preset pack and I also have some clips right here. The clips we use in this video are from OutGrid. Please check out the link in the description below in order to get two extra moms for OutGrid. We are giving away one of the split axe screen mats for free. If you like the free version, you can download the full pack from our website. The link is in the description below. Now, in order to apply those presets to your footage, what we want to do first is just drag one of our presets into our DaVinci Resolve timeline. As you can see here, you don't see anything. <laughs> so what you can do in order to make your preset visible, you can go to effects library, go to generators and now drag in a solid color. So now nothing changed. What you want to do is go to the inspector and change the color of this solid color to white. And as you can see here now, this is how the preset is gonna look. So we can see there are three main spots where our footage will be visible afterwards. So we're gonna be putting three different video clips into those frames. And I'm gonna show you how to do that. You wanna move that up right here. So there is space for three different clips at once. Go back to our media pool. And now we're just gonna drag in our first clip you know now it's looking like this real epic some slow-mo now what we want to do is we want that clip to be perfectly in the middle so in that middle frame right there so we are going to just change the position a little bit like this we might as well zoom in so this player with the number one is in the center of the video next we just want to drag a second clip onto our first clip like this now you can see the first clip isn't visible anymore so what you want to do is we want that clip on top now to be shown off in this box right there so we're just dragging it like this we have it like that now as you can see there is a kind of layering of those two clips we already got in order to do a workaround for that we're gonna click on the clip on top and now you can either go here and change it to crop and now you can just crop your video like this so you only have that frame right there alternatively you can just reset your settings and go to cropping and change the cropping of the video same for the third clip i'm gonna drag in this one right here again real epic um, and as you see, it is just like overlaying those other two clips. So we want to like drag the clip into this box right here, like this. And now again, do the cropping so it isn't overlaying the other clips. And now we are looking like this. That looks real epic right now and it's definitely going to give your video a unique look. So now what we want to do is we want to apply another preset. So we're just dragging the number 12 onto our timeline. I already have my solid color aligned right there. And as you can see now, we have four different boxes. That means we want to use four different clips for our preset. So we're starting off by moving our preset up to here. And we will start dragging our clips onto our timeline. Just like before, we are going to transform it. Uh, we're starting with the top left corner. I think that looks real nice. We can adjust this afterwards, so you can still change it. Go for the second clip, drag it in. Now we are going for the top right corner right now. Now you can see again we have this overlaying so we want to crop the clip like this. Third clip, same procedure, drag it. And as you can see here I really made the video smaller so we don't even have to crop this video. 
and the last one just drag it in make it smaller and drag it onto here so as I said, we uh, still can adjust the uh, setting of the previous clips. So I think for this one, it looks a little better to make it even smaller. And I think as this and this is rather a wider shot and those two are close-ups, I think we might change the position of the clips. We want to move that up here and now move that clip down to here now we're gonna resize it a little um, I think like this it really looks great by the way the music we used in this video is from Artlist so check out the link in the description below in order to get two extra mumps on Artlist as well and now finally just to give you a more specific idea of what different type of shots you can use these presets for and what different types of possibilities you will be having with those presets we are dragging the last one onto our timeline we can see this is kind of different these are circles and we also have a little blur effect right there so that one might look pretty cool i think as those two clips are like the same type and this one is quite different we are going to start with this one drag it onto our timeline and now we are looking like this i actually think this alone looks so cool but what we want to do now is make that one smaller and put it right there so we can see him in the middle we are going for this shot right now have it on top make it smaller it's really simple the process it's just the same repeating itself uh, over and over uh, but I think you can still pretty much get your creativity onto a next level with those presets we have some overlaying right there so we can crop the clip and go for the last clip of those three make it smaller drag it into the third frame crop it and there you go so now you know how to step up your video editing game and use our split screen map presets definitely check the video description in order to download those make sure to subscribe to our youtube channel to become a master in davinci resolve